so I'm at 20k on YouTube, which is insane. That's a really big number. Well, I'm actually not at 20k yet. I'm like 11 out, but I have decided to go out and celebrate because we're close enough. And what I've decided to do is go get groceries. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I actually am getting groceries. Like I'm literally at a grocery store. There's shopping carts back there, but I have some other stuff planned today as well. I just can't believe it. Like 20,000 people subscribed to the YouTube channel. It's almost too many people. You know, it's like almost intimidating. Like I don't even know what 20,000 people looks like, but I know it's a lot. Cause me personally in my life, I know maybe like a hundred people. I don't really know that many people. So if you times that by like 200, I think that gets you to 20,000. But anyways, math is, not my favorite. I actually don't know how to open my trunk without like physically doing it. So I need to go do that. There we go. Now I'm just kind of hanging out waiting for my groceries. It's actually so nice. They just like bring it out to your car and then you drive away. But I'm at a place called H-E-B and it actually stands for, I think Herbert E. Butts. So that's kind of fun. All right, so I have my food and because it's almost spooky month, I wanted to get something kind of fun. So I got these pumpkin shaped cookies and I also got some muffins. And so I was thinking a lot this week because I knew 20K was around the corner. And you know, a year ago, I think I had like 2,800 subscribers, probably a little bit less. And I was so proud of myself. Like I had gained so many subscribers by that point. We were at 2,800, we started around 2,300, but honestly, we lost so many at the beginning just because it wasn't the content they were here for. Like this is an older channel. My husband used to upload stop motion videos and like then I started uploading and it's like, people literally, they weren't here for that. And so I had to grow a new audience. But regardless, I was still really excited. You know, like people were subscribing, they were starting to comment. I remember my first comment, I was so excited. I think someone just said first on the video and I was like, wow. This is exciting. By the way, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do that. Hit that subscribe button down below. I do appreciate it. I will just say like the sun looks crazy right now. This is cool. And then around Christmas and New Year's, our channel, I wanna say blew up a little bit. And by blow up, I mean, we got like a thousand subscribers around that point, like a thousand within a week, which to any channel I feel like is a really big deal. Like that's a lot of people if you think about it. Finally, after all this hard work, we're getting monetized. Like we can actually start to make a fraction of what we spend on Lego back. Like that's so cool. Got my Halloween orange pumpkin cookies. So cute. I'm heading down to the Barton Creek Mall and actually I'm like almost there. I don't know why I said I'm heading down. I'm like basically there already. And it's not for Lego this time. This is actually like the first time in literal months that I've come down to this mall, not for Lego. So this is exciting. This is kind of different. I'm obviously still gonna go to the Lego store while I'm here. Like, come on, duh. But anyways, the reason I'm down here is because I actually need to get my wedding ring resized. It's a little bit too big now. And something I don't really mention too often is that I love chicken wings, like fried chicken wings. We go to this restaurant called Pluckers all the time. But during the last year, they weren't open and we didn't really feel safe going there. So I stopped eating a lot of chicken wings. Then I lost some weight. Also being sad and inside for a year probably didn't help. But yeah, so now they're, they're too big. They kind of just like jingle around and it's really annoying. So I have to go and get them resized. But I'm also obviously gonna go find some awesome Lego sets at the Lego store and just admire Ninjago City Gardens probably for like three minutes straight. So I didn't even know what the place I'm going to is called. Um, it looks kind of sketchy, so wish me luck. It's actually really hot outside. I was hoping it would feel more like fall weather, but it's like 100 degrees outside, which is, I don't know, like 40 Celsius. I have no idea. So I just looked at like a map of the mall, which I've never done here before. And it turns out it's like right across from the Lego store. So that's kind of nice. Like I see the Lego store right now. I'm at like the normal place. I always come into the mall. Like there's the Lego store. It's apparently like right around this corner. Oh wow, it actually looks like they have a new display today too. We'll go check that out later. Okay, so I decided not to get my ring resized today just because it was gonna be a lot more expensive than I thought it would be, but I'm still right near the Lego store. So I'm gonna go check that out. Also quick subscriber count. We were at like 19,994. So we are super close. Here's the new display. This is actually really cute. This lawnmower, Ross would love this. He, he loves loves lawnmowers. And then there's a bunch of flowers. Very, very cute. I kind of like want this in my house. This is really adorable. And then here we have the display. I still need to build this. I think I'm gonna build it closer to the holidays, probably like around mid-November. And then this one, I like, I want it, but I don't know what to do with it. And then the usual still on display at the Lego store here. And a shark. 
Okay, so I'm obviously not at the Lego store. So here's what happened, I guess. So as soon as I got into the Lego store, one of the really nice, I think he's a manager. I'm not, I'm not really sure. He was like, hey, it's been a while. How are you doing? Are we gonna see you October 1st? And I was like, yeah, you know, I am really excited for it. We'll probably be here. I'm not really sure what we'll be getting yet. Cause really like the two things that would be on my list mainly are like the Nintendo question mark block and the Disney castle, which I already have, which is really cool. Thank you again to Lan and Lego. But I asked him what all was coming out and he said that they're actually currently building the stunts, like the Lego City stunts. And I was like, oh, no way, those are awesome. And so I go up there and check them out and I'm like, wow, like kind of playing with them a little bit because he was showing them off. And like, obviously I was vlogging, like the guy there knows that that's kind of what I do. And I was so excited. I was like, wow, like these are amazing. Could I, could I film a little bit for the video? The guy behind the counter was like, no, you can't film in the Lego store. And I was like, oh, um, Okay, that's kind of new. And then the other guy who kind of recognized me because I'm in there like once a week, he kind of spoke up like, oh, well, you know, I think I can ask my manager, would that work? And I'm like, oh, I don't want to be a problem, but yeah, like, would you mind? This has never really happened. I'd really like to know how to get permission. And so the manager comes out and I've never seen this guy before, right? Like I'm there once a week and I have never seen him. And he's like, oh, so what's the issue? What, what do you want to do? I was like, oh, you know, I, I'm like registered Lego fan media. Um, I usually film in here, I do some vlogs, like nothing crazy, just, you know, I like to film Lego sets and show what's in stock. And he's like, oh, you'll need to get like formal permission now. And I'm like, okay, how do I do that? And he's like, oh, you need to like email this person. And he gave me basically just this piece of paper here and it has an email on it from like the America Lego email for press. And I guess I fall under that category because I'm registered Lego fan media through the Lego Ambassador Network. And he was like, yeah, you need to plan it a few days in advance if you're gonna film and like gave me the spiel. And I just, I don't know. Like, I guess I had heard of this happening, but it's just kind of embarrassing when it happens to you. But yeah, so after that, I just felt kind of weird being there still. I don't know, because the guy behind the counter, he seemed a little like, how dare you ask a manager or something. I don't know, like, I, I was really nice about it and I didn't even ask for a manager. I don't know. He seemed kind of upset that I was asking, you know, when the rules changed or anything like that, and I, I wasn't rude at all, um, but he seemed a little, like, off-put by it. I guess it's just, like, I was so excited to go to the Lego store and look around, like, I love going to the Lego store. And also, obviously, like, I just want to have a really good day when we hit 20k, like, that's just, that's just really cool. And then I'm, like, kicked out of the Lego store and they tell me I can't make a certain kind of content anymore without, like, probably a week in advance of notice, like, I don't even know what I'm having for dinner. How am I supposed to plan that out? Because I asked him how long in advance I would have to email, because it's, like, how would, how would that work, like, a few hours like that's usually what I think about like I didn't know I was coming to the mall today until like an hour before I left the house I was like let's go to the mall I don't know this is a big part of what I do like I do these vlogs and I love it like why would I be out here right now if I didn't like this like obviously this is what I enjoy doing I wouldn't spend hours every day talking to a phone but I actually really do love it and I feel like this is a main reason why I was even accepted into the Lego Ambassador Network is like I do a lot of vlogs and that's you know a big part of my content and now having what I see as like a pretty significant portion of the content I do kind of like eliminated <laughs> kind of makes me nervous kind of makes me scared um definitely not the information I wanted on the day we're gonna hit 20k like we're like four out we're like four away so yeah that's kind of how I'm feeling today how's everyone else doing out there y'all doing good I don't know now I kind of just want to go to Target part of what I had planned today was going shopping for some cool fall clothes I don't really have much I just have a bunch of summer stuff as you can see from like daisies or sunflowers what even are these and like I do want to reiterate obviously it's private property like obviously they can choose what to do there so yeah I'm going to Target now and we're gonna have so much fun there it's gonna be a great time all right so I just pulled into Target you can see like the red thing there <laughs> I called Ross on the way here because I was feeling sad <laughs> obviously what is this square from do you see this go away <laughs> I really do feel like I'm overreacting a little bit like He's a new manager. He's only been there like a week, I just found out. So of course he's gonna like enforce the rules there and all that. And I have heard about the rules, just like changing at the Lego store about no filming. I'm sure it'll all be fine. I'm gonna call the number on, or the email or whatever, on this piece of paper later today and just, I don't know, see what they say. Hopefully they're cool. If they're not cool, then I guess at that point I'll have to worry. It's just like, I don't know, man. Like when you're out celebrating like an accomplishment and then like people at the Lego store, 
tell you, like, no, you can't make this kind of content anymore. Good luck, though. I mean, I didn't say no. I guess that's an overstatement. This square is bothering me. But, like, that's going to be a huge hassle. If I have to email them a week in advance before I go, it's going to be a pain. Anyways, I'm going to go to Target, and I'm going to get some cute clothes. Maybe buy a base plate. I don't know. We need more base plates for the city. Masks on. Good. Nothing's changed. It's still really hot outside. I think this is like a skeleton of a dog and it's heads backwards. I just hate this. I think Ladybird would hate these too. So I just refreshed the YouTube and it's at 20k. That's so exciting. I'm like kind of quiet because I'm like in the middle of Target and I feel like shouting is inappropriate right now, but I am so excited. Well, I was gonna buy some clothes, but I don't think I really understand anything about fashion anymore. So I'm just gonna go find the Lego sets. I don't think I've ever been this confused while clothes shopping before. Um, yeah, that was really weird. At least the Lego aisle is super easy to find. Hey, they have the gift card deal back. Spend 50, get $10 gift card. That's pretty cool. I don't really want to buy $50 worth of video, but maybe it's... Oh yeah, I see more tags over here. This is actually a lot. Do y'all see all these tags? This is great. This is really good. Their Star Wars section isn't as stocked as it normally is, but Harry Potter has a bunch of stuff. I love these little guys here. The buildable minifigs. I love like my buildable Emmasaurus. I think she's really cute. RIP this box. Y'all see this? It's like super dented. That shouldn't happen. You know, I was just about to say that I'm shocked they still have these, but also I'm not really that surprised because I feel like this set isn't actually that cool. This is neat, like a Mega Bloks dinosaur thing. I want it. Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. So base plates are on sale, mostly just white, two blue, and a green. So not too much here, also like giant duplo ones. But these all also have the spend 50, get a $10 gift card deal with them. So maybe that's worth it. We do need a bunch for the city and they're gonna get buried anyways. So white's okay. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Cause I know that they're on sale on Amazon as well. So I'm not sure if this is a better deal or not. I'll have to check. These shelves are super empty today. It kind of reminds me of Christmas last year where there was like nothing on the shelves for a solid two months. These are super tempting little pumpkin Reese's. Okay, I'm gonna get them. Cool, well, well that was successful. I got my base plates for my winter display. I don't know where I'm gonna build it yet. Honestly, I haven't thought that far in advance. But I'm excited for it. We have a bunch of the winter sets, so it'll be kind of cute. Maybe we can even include a train. That'd be awesome. All right, well, I am gonna head home now because I'm hungry. I was planning on going to Costco too today, but um, then I got upset and didn't feel like it anymore. I'll just get my detergent and seven pack of paper towels tomorrow. It'll be fine. But yeah, even though today wasn't really what I expected or wanted it to be, um, it was, it was still nice. Like it was nice to get out of the house and like go do things that I really enjoy for 20K. Groceries obviously isn't like one of my favorite things to do, but those pumpkin cookies were fun. So I'm gonna go have another one of those when I get home. But yeah, anyways, I think we're at 20,006 subscribers now, which is crazy. Like I honestly never thought we would be here by the end of this year or even early, you know? I think my goal for the end of this year was 20,000. And I felt like that was really ambitious, but we hit it early, which is crazy. I guess this video is gonna be my 20,000 subscriber special. So that's pretty cool. Which that being said, thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to this channel and helped me get this far. This has just been amazing. If you subscribe, you could be number 20,007. So that'd be pretty cool. I never really know how to end these videos. So bye.